we've seen how subtypes can override the implementations of things in their supertypes. We've also seen how you can make things abstract and that forces the subtype to create an implementation. It's also possible to go the opposite direction. You can also make things final, which basically says that something cannot be overwritten. And if final is applied to a class, it says you cannot extend this class. So maybe we have some behavior someplace where we don't want that to be able to change in, in the subtypes. Uh, if I had something inside of shape that should not be able to change in rectangle or circle, I could declare that method as being final. One of the places where you'll use final the most is if a class is truly supposed to be immutable. Okay? And actually I'm going to break some code here. Uh, our rectangle here is supposed to be immutable. Uh, we've written it that way, we want it to be this way. If I want to really enforce that though, I need to make it final. Uh, you might have noticed a little red mark appeared over here because I had extended rectangle. And I can't do that if rectangle is final. Now you might wonder, well why does this matter? What, what could we do if, um, you know, in the code that would cause problems? Well, let's create basically a mischievous rectangle. And so we're going to make a new class. We'll call it a bad rectangle. And just to illustrate this, we're going to get rid of the final keyword on rectangles. Now keep in mind, this rectangle is immutable. The values in it are not supposed to be able to change after creation. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create this bad rectangle which has a private var underscore width that is a double and a private var underscore height which is a double and it's going to extend my original rectangle and pass it width and height. Now, and I need a color. Well, that's just, I'm going to hard code into here red because I'm not really caring about the color. Okay, that error isn't real, so we're going to ignore it for now. Um, and this isn't being highlighted. So the issue here is the fact that now I could create a bad rectangle, and I could, I don't know, let's go ahead and let's do a, see if we can do this. I can always get around it in other ways. If it, if Scala doesn't like this, equals underscore width equals w. Yeah, we're happy here. Height h underscore h. Our height equals h. And. I'd say that error there is annoying me. Okay. And then I could do this. Inside of my subtype here, I'm going to redefine area and perimeter so that they don't use width and height. They use underscore width and underscore height, which are mutable and can be changed. Okay. This is now a problem because, because bad rectangle is a subtype of rectangle, I could write code that is supposed to work with this rectangle. I could pass it an instance of bad rectangle and we would be able to mutate that the values in there. So I, the code would be expecting that it's getting something that its area and its perimeter will always be the same. Nothing's going to change them. And so maybe, for example, it calculates the area once 
and then continues using that value for, for a long time because it knows that it can't be changed. But on the bad rectangle, it can be changed because you could alter the width and then all of a sudden this formula is different. In a few video chapters, we're going to talk about something called multi-threading. And multi-threading is, is going to bring into play another type of challenge that we can have when things are mutable. The, the fact that certain data is immutable is going to make our lives a lot easier. So how do I prevent this? Well, I simply put the word final in here and now all of a sudden my bad rectangle is not creatable. Unfortunately, my square doesn't work either though. So this is yet another argument for probably shouldn't have made square extend rectangle even when it's technically safe for the immutable case um, but it opens the door to creating a mutable subclass which could actually cause problems in our programs.